everyone, and welcome back to part two of a two-part series that's now an ongoing series, isn't that? I was gonna be like, my fashion review channel. <laughs> what is this called? Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Lil's channel, or welcome for the first time. Last video, you may remember if you watched, if you didn't go watch it right now. Uh, we reviewed our old Coachella looks, but there were so many looks that we had to do a two-part section on each of our channels, and it looks like that's coming in handy again today. You're welcome. People in the comment section were really thumbs upping my comment that this two-part series discussing things should be a thing. Well, I mean, we talk so much during everything that everything ends up up being two hours of footage anyway. Yeah. Might as well give you two parts. Honestly, more is more, friends. So, <laughs> without further ado, today we are going to be reviewing Met Gala looks. We did part one on Jocelyn's channel. There's no order to any of these looks, so you don't necessarily have to watch hers first, but you can, there's a link below. Also, we haven't even shot else. it yet because like we're in the future and you're in the past. So no, we don't, don't know what's gonna don't happen. Confuse this them. is how the sausage is made. Should we start? Let's go. First up, let's look at the Disney prince himself. I cannot. I can not with Shawn Mendes. I've never not found him attractive. No, he's always been cute. But it's always never been, been like, I, I saw these and I was like. Like, uh, like I, you could only describe him as effortlessly painfully handsome because he looks like a, a grown man too. He has like chiseledness happening in his face. I would say oh, I so don't cute. I would say I don't know which I like better, him with the coat or without, but it's definitely with the coat because it gives him the Disney Prince-S vibe. Mm -hmm. But he also has on nail polish, which I love. I think go for it. Guys should really be going for it. I have no problem with nail polish on guys. And his hairstyle too, he he has the best haircut. I like the length at the current moment. Everything just fit. You know when people like, he could wear anything, it just like fits him well. Yes. Like clothes just wear like well on his body. Like it's tailored for his body. I mean, this was, I'm sure. And here's, but look, he hits all categories. How tall is he? He's tall. You, yeah, I know, you would freak out. Also because I'm so immature, I'm so immature, and I covered, I was an entertainment journalist, I guess kind of still am for so many She's years. She's mentioned this at least three times to me. I'm just like, oh my gosh, so many like former couples were there. Like how hard would it be to like see your ex looking so fly? Both of them, him and Cam Camila Cabello. Okay, well let's, let's go to her, can yeah, we go to her like, please? I, I, know. I was not a fan. You weren't, why? I loved this. <gasps> It's so unique and fun. I don't. You don't know it why. It feels like it doesn't fit. Mm, really? Why? Because it's kind of loose with the under boob. Yeah, I think that. I think that's the point, though. Because see, how it's I like don't know. I, I honestly, I'm I'm struggling to say what I don't like about it, but, but I just don't. I don't know. She to me is like the bouquet of flowers I want to receive. She's adorable. Yes. Like she doesn't look bad. I just, it's not my cup of tea. What I love about it is that you would never wear this anywhere but the Met Gala. It's very over the top, especially with all of the floral work on the front that leads into the train in the back. I think it's the floral that I don't like the most. Yeah, it just, it lays on her weird or something. I don't like how the top fits. I've never seen a top like this. I think I would be fine if it was the bottom. It's like the top and the bottom don't match for me. Also, hair and makeup game for this, top, top, top notch. Seen, I, top I, notch. See, I feel so bad because I really, I like Camila and I feel like I'm just shitting on this whole look, but it just, it feels like she could have done that. Really? Like, His I feel bad saying thing? anything bad because I want to remind everyone I'm in sweats and my opinion should not be Also, you're a Lila fan. You've loved Fifth Harmony since before they were Fifth oh, Harmony. Oh, yes. I'm purely commenting on the fashion. A main thing that I love about this look is, I don't know if you saw her Instagram post yesterday before the Met Gala. This is why I love her so much. She put up her period tracker and it said Which, her period might start yesterday. And the caption says, send prayers, please. I'm not trying to give red wedding today. I oh, love she was her. Wearing white. Oh my God. No, that's when you put in something for insurance. What? Oh, what do you mean? You just already put a tampon in. Oh, I was like, what do you mean? You pay your insurance broker? I'm so stupid. Yeah, the smart move would be just put in a preventative tampon and just in case. That, I guess that's a better way of phrasing it. There you go. It. Anyway. I thought it was great. I think a lot of them photograph differently on the carpet than they do when they're like arriving. Yes, Cause I'm you're seeing right. other pictures on people's Instagrams, even like Katy Perry, for example. Let's go to Katy Perry. Don't know if you guys are aware. I'm sure you are since you are here on Lily's channel. She is one of the biggest living Katy cat. Which was why I was a little disappointed when I, ugh, I no. saw her get to the carpet because I wanted it to be something great. And it, it was like, hey, 
But then her Instagram photos. Exactly. I went to her Instagram, which it's not like, oh yeah, on Instagram they're all like filtered in it. No, I think it's I Oh mean, my god. Like, she looks phenomenal there. Does she have some sort of like netting over her face? Because I love that and I love the gloves. I do, a lot. I do too. And does she not have that on the carpet? I did not see the netting on no. her face. I wish she would have worn that. Yeah, because that would have added a lot, I think, definitely. And also, it's probably hard to see though. The train seems much better like more prominent. If you showed me this, love. Carpet yeah. one, it feels like it's, like she didn't have the right people judging it. Judging her, she needed a non-stop She's better judge. judge. And we were trying to actually do some research into oh, yes. the origin or the inspiration for this look. And Lily dove really deep. No, I saw it on Twitter and then just like tried to find it again. And I couldn't find any words to describe it, but I finally found the pictures. And it's from what looks like a painting? I don't know of what era. I've seen that painting before. It looks pre-1870. It feels Would renaissance. You say medieval? Yeah, I don't know. It's I, been a long time I, since I, was I did about school. History. Oh, so you could see though. It's, it's like inspired One, by it. So it's like she didn't actually have a boob hanging out, but like she did. There's an of, essence like, of it. Yeah. But then I didn't even see until I found this inspo thing that she has a bustle, bustle as yep. well, which I feel like bustle. also adds a lot. So I think the first pictures of her probably that came out, because I think those were maybe the ones being circulated mm -hmm. the most, those don't show it off as, as they well, should. Her, go to her Instagram. Those are the best photos. Yes, I agree. Absolutely. She looks phenomenal there. Speaking of bustles. Dove Cameron. Girlfriend. I am not super familiar with Dove Cameron. So I was going through and picking like pictures of who we should talk about. And I saw this and I was kind of like, oh, I don't know what that is. And I skipped it. Then I was far more intrigued when I saw this that showed that it's based on like the bones of the bustle. So she's like wearing those on her arms and then they're sticking off on the back. This is art right, right here. And then this it was is very cool. Once I saw that, I was like, never mind. Which then made me feel bad because I'm like, oh, I feel like we should know the inspiration for all of them. Because it's it, hard. I think it does change how you can interpret the look. Definitely. But I will say, I think this is really cool. And I'm pretty sure this is her first Met Gala. If this was my first time going to the Met Gala, this is the kind of thing I would want to wear. To be like, I'm here and maybe I'll never come back. So I'm going to wear bones. I would die to see what you would wear to the Met Gala. Can you imagine? No, I would wear- no, no, I can't. The wildest thing you've ever seen. You know how Katy Perry wore the hamburger? I would wear that. Was that to the Met Gala? Yeah, it was camp. I do love her so I, That's much. why I love her. Can we talk about him, please? Yes, okay. First of all, here's a picture of Shawn Mendes and Austin Butler together. And I saw this and was like, <gasps> Lily. I've never seen two more attractive men so effortlessly. I, how do, what is it like to be that attractive? And they are just both such nice gentlemen. I've been covering these guys since they came on the scene. The reason and I know who he is is because I had to watch Switched at Birth to help great like, show. Like, recap. Great show. He stuff. also really popped off in Carrie Diaries, which is where I That's came to one. really love Austin Butler. Such a kind, like down to earth person. Here's the thing though. The Austin Butler we know right now, who's like a Disney star or whatever teen star, is about to become a bona fide movie star because he's playing Elvis in the biopic and he was casually on the red carpet with Elvis's widow Priscilla Presley. That's oh, crazy. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. And it's funny because you say that and now it makes so it makes much a more lot sense, of sense why he's there. Not that I don't believe he should be there because it, I was like, uh, how did he get invited? Yeah, I was like, invited. I only know him from like teeny bobber shows. Switched up. So I was like, how did this suddenly, like, how do you parlay that into going here? In the past, I feel like I didn't really question it because he was with Vanessa. Oh, Hutchins. I see. Okay, okay. So it was like, oh yeah, well, Makes that's sense. surplus one. Right. And then he just always like held his own. Right. And then this year, he's also with Kaya Gerber. Don't which, get me started. Uh, mm -hmm. What? The actual F. What the F with these people? Like, are they real? Do they just sit in a room and just stare at each and other? And be like, miming each other? Yeah, like, just like all just day? So perfect looking? Excuse the me. The hair? I actually, I'm gonna do my hair like this soon. I don't know why, but I'm gonna do it. My hair would do this. Do you have some ex do you have I have extensions, not in, but I, I'm going to do this hairstyle. Okay. I have to throw this out there. Kaya Gerber is an amazing person. Do you know what her like top hobby is? Volunteering at Sense of Home and giving away houses like multiple times a year. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a video on my channel where Lily and I had the opportunity to give away a home to a former foster youth with this charity. And Kaya Gerber is one of their main celebrities that's involved in the charity. So just two stellar human beings that are so good looking. <laughs> I just am like, what? Like, you know what she looks like? Like a woman in the 1800s who like let her hair down when she went to bed. <laughs> 
So her husband could see her hair. <laughs> she would be in like Ever After. 100%. You've seen Ever After, guys. It's such Drew, a good movie. You should go watch it. Drew Bar I mean, I haven't seen it in a long time, but Melanie Linsky's in it too. Who's Melanie Linsky? She's in Yellow Jackets. You can't watch oh, it. Oh, I'm not allowed to watch no. that. Anyway. Okay. I'm gonna be completely honest. I didn't know who Juana Chasing Horse was, but when we saw now. her outfit, I was like, who is this woman? Wow. What? what? I, wow. I don't, everything about this. I, Everything. And here's what I love about this specifically. You absolutely cannot talk about the origins of American fashion in any century or decade without talking about the people who lived here originally, Native Americans. That is a very good point. And so I'm sure what she's wearing has some sort of reference or meaning. I'm not sure what it is, but I will say if anybody's gonna wear it, it better be her and she looks incredible. I And her makeup and I just zero complaints. I want to know more. I want to know more. It was one of my favorite her. ones. I want to know more. Kwana, I hope we're pronouncing your name correctly. Stunning. Nailed it. <laughs> I'm sure she's watching. She might be. Speaking of best dressed of the evening, I think it's only fair that, oh wait. Oh. I was going to go to Blake Lively, but honestly, Blake Lively is up there. I almost have a top three tie. Sabrina Carpenter. Who are you, Sabrina? I when did this happen? I have always loved her. Love her music. Love her. I, I don't know her personally. She's grown up now. But oh my God, I saw this. It was like, are you kidding me? What? What? I do. Stunning. And here's what I love about this. She's very petite. And I still feel as though the dress did not wear her. She wore the dress because it had the little crop top. It didn't like overtake. This was the ultimate dress on the stair. Cause then you could even see the stair ripples on the way down. The hair, the makeup, the, the glowy glitter. tan. It's kind of honestly like a simple, I mean, you I was can't just even gonna say, say that. If you look at it by itself, it's, it's really gilded, though. It's, it's gold. It's the only really way it fits the theme to be honest. But still uh, one of the best dresses the night in my opinion. Doesn't she look like some sort of like fairy tale, like from like a Viking movie? Like she's like their <laughs> goddess? Like Helen of Troy or something like that? But like a much more like glam. If she was going to Vegas, like if Helen and Troy was going to Vegas. Helen of Troy, excuse yes, me. Sure. I love that she's there. I feel like this is a big deal for her. And not to be like, why is she there? But why is she there? Well, uh, she's acting a lot right now. I don't know what she has coming up. I probably need to do some research because it's not just about what you have happening now. Like for example, with Austin Butler, it's like, what do you have coming down the pipeline? And I know she's been doing a lot of acting lately. I guess I'm just curious in general, what the invitation process is like. Is and I think like the designers, the designers oh, they, like, get invited them. and then they pick their pieces. Yeah. Okay. I don't I don't even know where to start. We can't this. go a step further without just paying um, homage. Because this was my favorite. I think she wins favorite of the but night. From, well, I don't know. She Is she getting the most press? No. No, just Does she me, win in general? Oh, okay, sorry, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> She's at least top three somewhere in 100 if not number one. Yes. I just throw up the photo. Which one? The original. Show us the original, then we'll go to the secondary look. Stupid. Blake Lively. Brian Reynolds is just like, why am I here? Apparently this is when he first saw her. Oh, really? Supposedly. That's so cute. And he was like, also like you're Ryan Reynolds, you're married to her. So it's like, you see her every day. To get that reaction, and they've been married a while. Right? Yeah, I like, love this. He looks cute. great. He's like, like what is he's happening? like, oh my God. <laughs> my wife is hot. So he looks very classy. I love his little um, dangle. His Is little, it like a pocket watch? Yeah, it attaches to your pocket watch. Of course, of course. Does he actually have a pocket watch? He must. I would um, assume. If it was just this with the tie, I'm like, well, it's not. She looks like royalty. The jewelry obviously. though is insane. Then you undo that part of the dress. She's the Statue of Liberty. She is the Statue of Liberty. That's what she is. What was the whole thing I saw on Twitter of like she ate? Oh, what was that's that? like the new like term. Slang. Oh, yeah. so she ate the Statue she, of Liberty? No, is that she, what you would say? Ate, oh, she ate. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but there was like this whole moment when she was standing on the stairs, four assistants came up and I was like, I thought at first is something wrong? Is she okay? And then suddenly when they revealed the dress and she's just so cute. Like, and she knows she looks so hot. She's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. People are clapping. You know Blake Lively's gonna show up and look phenomenal, but turn you don't up, know that out. she's gonna, that was. 
Oh gosh, I love it. I love that she smiles. She's not just like, I'm so serious That she now. seems like so normal. Dakota Johnson. I will admit, I had mixed feelings upon first It was a slow this. burn for you. It was a slow burn. But now the flame is going and I'm a big fan. You know what's interesting about this, Lily? It's, it's interesting it's, that it's crushed velvet. I think we've already established via, if you guys don't follow me on social media, check out my recent uh, reels about the hat. Lily sometimes takes issue with some of my fashion choices. However, it all circles back. It all circles back. Like, for example, her loving this crush. Well, you know cake. what? I think it shows growth. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, yes, she is wearing a crushed velvet, but I think I bathrobe. just love the colors yeah. so yeah, much. It's very vibrant. But it's, yes, it's a bathrobe, essentially. It is long, so it, it's an elegant bathrobe. It's probably what women in the 1800s wore when they were letting their hair down and ready for their husband to enter their bedchambers. Don't you think? <laughs> I watch a lot of Downton Abbey. Then she gets there and first still photographs with it, but then she gets rid of the rope and- Boop, boop, boop. Hot. Yes. Yes, this is like a Beyonce cat suit. Or like Britney Spears. Yes. Uh, toxic almost. So I feel as though she, with, the, with the outer garment, she was paying homage to the 1800s. And with this, she was paying homage to early 2000s pop stars which I am a huge fan of. Let's talk about Jared Leto. Okay. Let's talk about Jared Leto and how he was mistaken for something. It was well, a big controversy. Huge <laughs> controversy, which is funny because our text conversation from last night, I was like, look at this guy who just got here. What the heck, who is this? And Lily's like, obviously Jared Leto. I'm like, I don't know, I don't think so. And she's like, it is. I had tweeted five minutes before that on a scale of one to nightmare fuel, this is I'm never going to sleep again. I had mentioned that it was Jared Leto. Yes. And so many other people had been posting. Outlet. Was Jared News Leto. outlets were like, I Jared Leto has arrived. Then, then I have one person go, that's not Jared Leto. And it was two minutes after Jocelyn yes. had oh. sent me a picture and it said, Frederick something or Erickson another or something. Yeah. And I was like, no, Jocelyn, like Eddie will mislabel and the pictures a lot. And it did really look like Jared Leto. <laughs> We're shutting her down so hard being like, I'm positive that's him. And then I see this thing, I was like, Oh shit, it's not him. The whole internet had been like punked basically. Yes. And it's yeah. not. And then Jared Leto shows up with a twin. Someone that looks just like him. And I was like, great, now we have three Jared Letos to distinguish between. It's very confusing, but this is basically an expansion of the time. Remember, he just brought his head. That's now true. he's brought a whole additional he, he human. He doesn't feel comfortable going alone. No. So he's brought a whole additional <laughs> human. And like you, it's just growth. It's growth. <laughs> I, the main thing I like about this look is how much it confuses me. The hair clip to the oh, side is like- up. He has, I got some solo ones of him. There he is. Oh, wait, no, wait. She literally has a whole file of photos that say Jared Leto and it's the Frederick person. But no, Jared Leto has this very like just dainty hair clip in and then he's carrying like, it looks like a Chloe handbag. I don't know what brand it is, but they're just so identical down to a T. It's interesting. And I don't really understand the inspiration behind Harry it. Styles. It looks like something Harry Styles would wear. So I feel like they're really very current. It feels like something Harry like, Styles Well, that doesn't really feel like the theme, but <laughs> why wasn't he there? I was upset that Harry Styles and Taylor Swift were not there. Maybe they were hanging out together somewhere. Probably not. Probably not. Okay, I know this was one of <laughs> your favorites. Yes. And I saw it and I was like, uh oh. L -O -L. So this is the first picture I see. And I was like, ooh, Cardell I like her makeup. Very mm -hmm. like euphoria, but gilded. It, it feels very and her. It fit. Her hand is even gold. She has a cane. It was very like. She is so funny and so fun. So you like knew there are so something else that was about to happen, but not this. The next picture I see is this one. <laughs> She's hilarious. Whips the jacket off. Her whole body is painted gold. She has two pasties on and then some body jewelry. No one is I enjoying this more than her. What really did it for me here is the cane accessory because that actually, this is very like 1800s, but like, you know, I love that she's always playing with like gender norms with her clothes. She's like, you think I'm gonna wear this? I'm gonna wear this and I'm gonna add a cane. If she didn't have all like the gold and gilded stuff, it, it gives me a little like ring leader. Circus vibe. Which I don't think really fits the theme, but I don't mind. I Very Barnum I wouldn't Bailey. say this is like one of my favorite looks, but I love it. I love that in she's general. I love fun. her and it in general. Oh Gigi Hadid. Oh my gosh. Um, Okay, so I, I will say, did you see the her originally walk out of the hotel without the coat in these? And I was kind of just like, oh, that's cool. Like it's like very like Catwoman, but red. red. But, but the first one I saw was this. Holy and I was like, cow! It's like a puffer coat sleeping bag that I want to just curl up in. This gives me very regal vibes, very much like an ode to. I see royalty, like a queen like waddling out wearing it. Yes, I would wear this. 
Don't you think I would absolutely? It this reminded is like, me of your pink puffer coat. This in, is. In a I actually have a puffer form. coat that kind of looks like this. That might be why I love it so much. Like this entire thing is very. I feel like an epitome of Met Gala look because this does not work anywhere else, and it barely works here. <laughs> and the craftsmanship <laughs> on I all of these it. pieces. And you know what? My job. If God forbid she fell backwards, she's got a lot to. A lot of cushioning. Yeah, a lot of cushioning. I wonder, like, if it do was like, yeah, do touch? her arms hurt? Her, like, did she have something here. to prop them up because she holds them out? The like cushioning that. is probably so comfortable. I feel like, no, no, but you'd have to hold them out to get oh. it to, So it's like, you know, when you're drying your hair for a while and yes. it gets sore, I feel like her arms are, I mean, Low key, a lot of these outfits, anyway, even but. like um, Sabrina Carpenter's outfit was probably so heavy. Caravis is here. I was very confused by Courtney's because it looked very different in different photos that yes. I saw. The first time I saw it, I thought that this like nudish, like top of the skirt yeah. area. Doesn't it give you like ace bandage vibes? Yes. Like I thought it was like a mummy. Like a mummy vibe. Yes. Yeah. But then the closer up I got, saw that it was just like a bandit skirt. Okay. This outfit only makes sense if you are together. Because he's wearing a tuxedo and she's wearing the deconstructed version of that. See, it looks like a pattern on the bottom. It looks uh, like it's just been like, okay, like okay. he's torn it off of her or something in a moment of passion. I love that, that they're that making- That might have actually happened. I love <laughs> that they're making out constantly. And I also love that he's like wearing a kilt or a skirt. And they just seem like they literally don't care about anything so except happy. each other. So they're like, oh, we're at the Met Gala. Cool. Oh, we're at Coffee Bean in Calabasas. Cool. Whatever. Really? They just seem like genuinely happy and I love that. I would them. prefer to maybe see like less tongue all the time. Mm. They don't know. Make out, I think it's good for the mouth, world. Like, more it's good for the world. Should we look at Kimberly? Uh, how can we I We haven't forget? even looked at Kimberly yet. So, so much before, before she even arrived, she there was all speculation about that she was going to be wearing the Marilyn Monroe dress from the happy birthday. Mr. Said, President. Yes. When she sang to JFK. So the first picture she posts to reveal that this is happening. She confirmed, basically. She posts these. She has a whole like, photo shoot seamless set up in her hotel room. No. Can't. I I can't. I, also, by the way, she got this dress from Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in I'm Florida. Done. Apparently it's worth $5 million. This was really like crazy dress because Marilyn Monroe came out on stage wearing the jacket. And this is obviously like a long time ago in the 60s. She came out wearing this jacket to sing Happy Birthday, Mr. President, who she was clearly having a relationship with. And the moment she came out to sing, she took the coat off and people thought she was naked. So it was very like Scandy. talked about at the time. And then she was killed like, or sorry, died three months later. So. There's um You need to do some research on that. I there's a new Netflix documentary. Great, I need to watch it. Girl, this is all anyone's talking about for so many reasons. I, I feel like it's kind of split. Some people are like, how dare she? This is American fashion. What is more iconic than this? We'll know that she gets to do like because no one has worn this since. Maybe so they haven't like, asked the Ripley's. Maybe we should reach out and be like, hey, can we That's true. You wear know something you at ask. your museum? I've heard other people say like Kim has been, no, she's a, a misunderstood sex icon. Right, as was our time Marilyn and Monroe. As was Marilyn Monroe. So Kanye we'll wanted a whole rant parallels. about that, yeah. actually. So here we have her solo on the red carpet. She also has the white fuzzy shawl. Yep. Shawl. shawl, coat, whatever. I think whatever it's a shawl. It but then we also have a major moment because she brings feet. Peter and Kimberly. As her date. Oh my God. Which I will say, he especially, I feel like would have done something, if it was just like him going solo to the- He would have dressed as a hamburger. He would have done sure. something weird. Yes. You don't go as Kim Kardashian as Marilyn Monroe. He has to and, go JFK wear, vibes. Like, or you just have to be very understated because all the attention is- This is a very time. JFK 1960s tailored suit. Then I feel like it's a pretty standard suit. Also, he's wearing sunglasses, which so, I said earlier, no, everybody's uh, wearing sunglasses. He, I think probably because he's probably pretty high. Well, how- and to get through this. Also, I like wonder so badly what was going through his head because he's like a big star now, but this is crazy. Not, it's like, wild. And it's not just like you're with Kim somewhere on a carpet. You're with Kim on a carpet and she's wearing Marilyn The most Monroe. iconic like, dress. Do you think he's just like really confused about his life? He actually, I feel like he looked a little awkward. Like he didn't know what to do in the videos I saw, which I thought was kind of cute. I like that. He's just probably like, like how what am I, I doing? Get here? I hope Jimmy Fallon has him on soon so they can discuss all I of would, because he's so funny. I would so love to funny. hear his perspective on this entire relationship because I also think, I'm not gonna say I think Kim Kardashian is like relatable, but I think behind closed doors, Very, she probably yeah. is much more down to earth than you would assume. Yes. I mean, she's also really hot, so that could be why he's with her. But it's like, you have to imagine there's something else. She said that they, I, I watched an interview she did with Hoda Kotb where she was like, yeah, we just like, he'll like go with me to like the grocery store. Like we just run errands together. They're just like us. 
this. <laughs> Ripley know. hasn't let us wear anything though. I'm calling him after this. I'm gonna call Ripley. We'll just end it with a few last ones. We haven't discussed Lizzo, by the way. <gasps> oh, well, saving the best for last. Okay, okay, great. <gasps> Have we looked at Megan the Stallion? Megan the Stallion. She was one of my favorites. Oh my God. Giving just gladiator goddess. Gilded. Gilded. I, perfect. Unbelievable. The only thing I would say I could do with a longer train. I would like more, please. <laughs> I, Megan, like, I would more like more of please. this. The shoulders were my favorite. Obsessed. Gwen Stefani is someone you aspire to be like. Like her and JLo. Also, where was JLo and Ben Affleck? I don't know. That's really weird that they weren't there. Surprising, it would have been a nice It would have been a good be, like yeah. moment for them. This girl, you know who she reminds me of? Candy Johnson so much. Yeah. I think they're actually friends. I think they are too. But Gwen Stefani just always looks like she's having fun. I don't know. She, she's, I think, 50. Fuck off. 52. Yeah. That's why I say this is what we can aspire to because she just looks like she loves her she life. She looks better than she, I mean, she's always looked good. She looks better than she did when she was in her 20s. I wonder where Blake Shelton was. He should have gone. That would have been fun. I was thinking that and then it kind of felt like maybe a conversation that they had and it was like, like maybe two. stay <laughs> Oh, we, did, we didn't even look at it. talk about Evan Chamberlain. I feel like she looked really good last year too. But this year I saw it, I was like, ooh. She's really like, like making moves now. It, it felt very like different. Mm -hmm. Like she didn't play it safe at all. Like on top, she's going 1800s and with the jewelry, but then her hair and her skirt are were super modern. modern. It felt very like Victorian. Like she yes. looks like a little Victorian doll. And her hair and makeup are I think that's Great. my favorite. Cause you could, this is, Lily told me she liked this look and I was like, I could see you wearing this entire look and having this exact hair and makeup. Bar is wearing this <laughs> yeah, we're gonna hit some clubs in LA and Lily's gonna cosplay as Emma Chamberlain. So, I'm Lizzo surprised posted, you're breathing right now. Lizzo posted these and I already was losing it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what leaving you, her what hotel do you mean? dead. Then I see. <laughs> That this bitch brought. What did she call it? Sasha flute. Her flute. Yes. If you are not familiar, if you're not a big Lizzo fan, she plays her flute at all of her concerts. It's the um, best. I did not know that she would be playing the flute on the red carpet of the Met, and it made my life. You know who else has brought an instrument out like this on the Met Gala no. carpet? No one. <gasps> not a single living person. Because that is why this woman is a freaking icon. Okay. I am fashion. I am high fashion. I'm everything. I'm also a good time. Look, who and wants she to does for those fucking nails. And it's gold. Kidding? Is that flute made of gold? Yes. I love her and so Look at her much. hair, look at her little baby hairs. I love everything about the necklaces. And this would have been everything, but having the flute. She played the flute with, with those, those nails. Those are like unicorn horns. Give her all the awards. Mm -hmm. Billie Eilish. This is something that I felt conflicted over because I saw people on Twitter being like, Billie Eilish should win like best posing of the yes. gala. That was my biggest, I was like, what is she doing? Why is she posing like that? I, I got why she's doing it because I get that that's like what the- It's not. historically appropriate for the outfit to like, but I saw a side shot of her and like, first off, oh my gosh, like, uh, can you breathe? Like that looks so tight. Her but boobs are really good. Then you have to like go like this and then lean over slightly. So I was like, even more can you breathe? Like what's happening with your organs? But she really sacrificed for us. I, this is another one. I wish there was like more of the bottom of the dress. Like I wish it was yes. bigger. Oh, Cardi B. Yeah, Cardi B's dress Cardi was a work of art. I just kept wondering, like it must be so heavy. Are those coins and like pieces of like yeah, chain? Yeah, it was like a lot of- Do people still say like that you look snatched? Oh, she ate. She ate. It looks like she took like, she found a pirate's treasure. 100%. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then she just like dove in and like yes. put her arms through. Like, like even the neck one, like holy shit. She, that must be so heavy. I wouldn't expect her to go with this kind of look, be honest. No, I, but I actually like really it. like it. Oh my God. I don't know any of them handled the nails. Same, no clue. I'm like glancing through. I think that we covered everyone. For, not everyone, God forbid. Right, it's we can't talk about so everyone. People and we've already been filming for like two hours. But um, oh, man. if you missed it, we did a bunch of people on her channel too. It should be up right now. now? And um, I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Let us know if you want to get more fashion reviews from us because <laughs> I know we are fashion experts. Or more like just two part things where it's like part one, part two here at the Wood Table Talk. Yeah, we don't have to talk about fashion anymore. Oh my God, wait, there's one more that we didn't talk about. Oh, Addison Ray. I don't know. There's not much to say about it. It was, I, it was not, a very- We just walked away. Yeah. Wow, well, we really just went through something together. Let us know who your favorite looks were in the comments below. And if you agree with any of our opinions, if we offended you in some way, I'm sorry. very sorry. We weren't commenting on any of the actual celebrities themselves. It was just their outfits and 
don't be mad at us. If you haven't already seen part one, go watch it now. Then subscribe to my channel and Dawson's because we would really appreciate it. Also tell the Met Gala people to put us on their list for next year. Yes. It could happen. Yes. Mm-hmm. I just would die to know what you would wear. <laughs> Same. It would be so great. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. That on this two-part series called Two-Part Talk. It's not what it's called. Two-Part Talk. I don't think so. It rolls right up like the tongue. Thank you for being here today. Cut it out. Bye.